Another of Europe's leaders succumbed to the debt crisis last night in Spain. Zapatero socialist lost to Mariano Rajoy's People's Party, which has vowed to impose even more austerity. Our Europe editor, David Tweed. The widest margin in almost 30 years. Mariano Rajoy leads Spain's People Party to victory, just as Europe's sovereign debt crisis threatens to overwhelm the country. Estamos... We are facing a crucial hour for Spain, a crossroads of destiny that will not only affect the future of our great country for the next few years, but the next few decades. Spaniards, like businesswoman Alicia Vano, are already bearing the deepest budget cuts in three decades. She's counting on Rajoy to bring down Europe's highest jobless rate, partly simplifying a tightly regulated jobs market. I wish the old government had been more decisive in reforming the labor market. I want the new government to support small businesses by making the labor market more flexible. Now that he's won, Rajoy will have to convince investors he can spur an economy skirting with recession, plug the euro area's third largest budget deficit and bring down Spain's borrowing costs, which are close to the 7% level at which Greece, Ireland and Portugal need a bailout. But he doesn't have much time. Whether Spain will need a credit line from the IMF or the ESFS, it's touch and go. And we will be seeing in the next few, in the next few days uh, the, 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 you know, the, the, the interest rate differentials going up and, 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 and the financing of Spanish debt becoming more expensive. So those things will happen. Whether or not there's going to be a bailout, depends on the rhythms of ECB intervention, market pressure, and Spanish reform. Rajoy is expected to outline his economic program this week. The question is whether the market will give him the time to implement it.